Hi everyone, uh, I want to try to clear up uh, a little issue about low blood pressure, where we talked about low blood pressure in the brain causing ADD, brain fog, it's most of all your headaches that you have where you have low blood pressure in the scalp and neck muscles, um, and why at times if I'm talking about low blood pressure and you go to the doctor with a severe migraine, do you have an elevated blood pressure in the arm? Okay, well, it's not always that way, but there's two reasons why. One, if you're having, say you're having pain from a severe, severe migraine, pain itself will elevate blood pressure in your limbs. Okay, it's not the driving force. We're talking about in the brain is low and in the scalp muscle is low. These are kind of separate systems for blood pressure regulation from the body as a whole. All right. And so you break your arm and you'll have elevated blood pressure. So one, just pain can be a factor. But really the biggest factor is that the body, there's a way you think about the nervous system. It's called selfish brain theory. And it basically says that the brain is going to take control of your physiology and it'll sacrifice organs if it has to, like if you're in shock to keep itself alive, to keep the brain alive. And it needs to do that by getting blood pressure to the head. So when we're having low pressure in the brain, the brain understands this is dangerous. You have suboptimal oxygen levels um, in the brain itself. And the brain is like, in a sense, almost thinking like you're possibly drowning. It's that kind of danger. And the brain through what's called the vagal reflex, the brain will send a signal to the arm just squeeze down the blood vessels and squirt blood to your head. Okay, now what happens? Your blood pressure is high. Okay, low pressure here with a compensation here. Elevated pressure, all right? And uh, people say, well, how can you tell the difference? Well, often when you just lay down for you know five or 10 minutes, you still got the pain, your blood pressure comes down. Why? You lay down, you get rid of gravity, your body's able to perfuse the brain more correctly without squeezing down at the arms. That will relax. Now, some people have damage to the vagal reflex and they won't get that. So they have severe, severe headaches and they have normal or very low blood pressure too. Okay, so if people claim headaches are from high blood pressure, you have to explain how do people with low blood pressure have headaches? Okay, so um, I know it's concerning. I know most docs don't get this because they aren't trained in this way to think. They're trained to just pain, you know, headache, pain medicine. There you go, headache, pain medicine. If you have headaches and the doc's like trying to put you on blood pressure medicines, what you need to do is check your blood pressure every morning. I have my patients check it twice every morning for like three or four days to really see what your blood pressure is doing when you feel okay. All right? You don't want to be treating blood pressure just when you have problems. You want to see what your blood pressure is when you're feeling fine. Because if somebody truly does have hypertension, that is a persistent elevation of blood pressure 24 hours a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, it's not high one day, low another, high in the morning, low at night. It's not like that. It's persistent. If you aren't having persistent pressure, you know, in this hypertension range, whatever your doctor's telling you that is these days, um, if at times it's low, normal-ish, uh, that's probably your true blood pressure. And what you're seeing is these elevations are just compensation of the nervous system trying to keep the pressure to the head correct. So I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, otherwise, everybody take care.